guys. Well, let's see. Maybe it's his first today. Yeah, it may, it may well be. The best he has at the moment is seventh place on two occasions in the under-21 European Championships. But everyone starts at some point to get on the medals. This could well be the day. He's performed well throughout the competition to get to this stage. His choice of kata, Ohandai. This is a... a favorite kata of the quadruple world champion Kyuna Ryo of Japan and I must add to that the Olympic champion definitely it's a really important title <laughs> yes the the most important <laughs> title <laughs> yes is the venue for the senior world chip lock yes. Yes. quest yes. this kata is quite difficult because it has a, a lot of techniques even if it's a quite long kata like you see, he's doing a lot of techniques with his arms and he has to do the timing with the hips and the lower part of the body. So even if it looks simple with the two hits in the front, it's not simple. No. If you look at the technical uh, block and you look at the athletic block for him, I think uh, he has a better technical block than athletic block. He has speed and his technique, but it, uh, I think uh, um, lacking a little bit of the last, mm -hmm. the last uh, person. Towards the end of the kata. Yeah. he's done all he can do in his quest uh, he has to await the performance of the experienced Matteo Bassato 29 years of age from Italy he's qualified already for the World Games this year he has been a European senior champion in Kata he's also had six bronze medals as well very experienced. He's got some great mentors as well with the fantastic Luca Valtesi. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. And Roberto Sedero, both world champions, Luca Valdesi, three times world champion. Mm -hmm. So has a great pedigree. I think Italy in general has uh, great medals in the baggage. Viviana Pataro. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Medals. Oh my goodness. The list goes on. That was a great speed. Maybe comparison from one side to the other. Does it look the same? Is it as effective on his left side as it is on his right side? I think it looked quite, quite the same. It did. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely mm -hmm. it did.
and this this stance, uh, corsadachi, this this cross-legged stance, it's very difficult to to perform that very slowly and maintain your balance. And there you can see he's doing exceptionally well. So this is also quite a long kata, but at least for now, I think he really uh, has the same level of uh, speed and power and uh, his uh, technical yes. performance as yes. well. A very well balanced kata. Yeah. Excellent performance from Mattia Posato. I think he did a really high level kata and he performed with the speed and with power and the, a great uh, technical uh, uh, aspect. So I, I think um, Mattia Posato can add a bronze medal to his... Um bronze medal number seven, you think? Yeah, I, th I think so. But let's see. Are you going to complete your predictions to make them 100% accurate? We'll find out in just a second. And here come the scores. Athletic performance, 7-4-4 against 7-6-8. And clearly at this moment, well in front, 17-9-2 against 17-5. Matteo Passato gets bronze medal number seven. Turkey. Well, we can just say.